care of your family. Um, I find that, you know, when we do email campaigns and stuff, I very, because I'm not really on the sales side anymore, um, you know, more of the management side of things. I find when I send an email that just says, you know, hey, happy Thanksgiving, I get the best feedback from it. Um, I well, don't you, ever send sales emails. You're actually a human. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and and I think that's actually a really good point. And I, I sorry to interrupt you there, but I just want to I, I want to stop and kind of highlight that because I think that's super important. Is that in our communication efforts right now, we need to be humans, and this 100%. is a huge opportunity for us as individual brands, as dealership brands, and the OEMs. I think are actually leading the way. Isn't that crazy? Normally, you know, we're really giving the OEMs a hard time for what their marketing messages are. And you sometimes you almost feel like a total lack of actual thought into one of my favorite things to talk about. <laughs> right? It is, it is. But but I actually have to give them a credit. Like, I mean, huge thumbs up. I mean, they're being very human in their in their marketing and their communication efforts right now. Percent, Like, you know, like, like we've talked about with the GM stuff, the, the we care that we've got your back stuff. There's not, they pulled all sales related um, advertising, I believe, um, from, you know, online and TV, uh, which is a great strategy. I mean, like, like I said, with that furniture store ad, you know, whether that was <laughs> accidental or not, it's just, uh, you know, you can die coming across as insensitive right now. Um, and you as know, one social media post, I think, yeah. like, I think it was, I think it was Tim Hortons, if I'm not mistaken, said that they weren't going to pay employees who were self quarantining. And it blew up on you know Instagram and Twitter, and within 48 hours they were like, oh, "We've decided to, as a corporate level, blah blah blah," you know, and and they changed it completely, changed their tone. Um, so I think GM, like I said, we speak to that, got way ahead of the curve um, and didn't have any negative feedback, you know, relative to other businesses. Well, and, and right now I think that's that's what the opportunity is, right? That's the opportunity for us as individuals, as brands, and then of course as our dealerships. Like, we should actually be taking a note out of how well our OEMs are executing. I'm sorry. It feels so weird to say that. <laughs> like, feels like you're speaking taste, Latin, yeah, doesn't like it? Yeah, it tastes a little weird. Like, it just, that was awkward. <laughs> um, <laughs> but they're doing a great job. And I think as dealerships, we need to look at that. Instead of sticking our heads in the sand and shutting everything down, is that we, we should be having some messages out there. And this is our opportunity to show them that we're not more than just a business, but we're humans too. Exactly. And humanizing ourselves as salespeople, right? Like it, I'm talking from the salesman aspect as well. That's the whole yeah. reason I did social media to begin with is I'm a real person. I'm not just a slimy person who's just trying to get your money all the time. Like I'm not just focusing on just trying to get it however which way I can. I want to help people, right? And, and, and again, I think that's what GM's doing is they want to help people. They, they're not, I mean, obviously they're, they're a company, they're a business, they need to make money. And, and like any of the automotive manufacturers, but again, putting that message out, just getting your name out there sometimes is just as valid as showing what your deal, the deal you have is, right? Like, I mean, so I think that just them getting any company, just getting their name 